I don't know if that looked angry or not. I'm in my car. I've just stopped. And uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I've been really, really angry a little while ago. And um, But if you can see from my face now, I'm not really angry now. So it's so funny why I've been really angry. And also, this is the answer to why people get angry with us and why we get angry. So I'd listen up if I was you. I think this is going to be, I think this is going to be a good one. So I'm um, just trying to hold the camera steady because it's in my car. So, um, so yeah, I've just, uh, I've just been to the dentist and I'm driving along in my car. Yeah, and there's traffic in front of me, and um, basically this car comes up behind me. And it indicates to the right. Now we can't go anywhere. You know, we're on a motorway. Can't go anywhere. I'm in the I'm in the outside lane. I'm in the fast lane. If you're in America, then it's the other side. But so I'm in the fast lane. I can't go anywhere. And a car comes up behind me. Guess what he fucking does? He puts his right hand indicator on. Now, has anyone ever done this to you? They come up behind you, put their indicator like they want to overtake, but you can't go anywhere. So I look in my mirror like that and I think, um, fuck you, what's going on here? I can't go anywhere. So he comes up again, me, comes up behind me again and he puts his right hand in the cane. I think, fuck, fuck you, what's the problem? What's your problem? Yeah, I'm not saying this, this is all going on in my head. Heartbeats going up, getting stressed, veins are standing out of my neck. And I think, what is wrong with him? And I think, you know what? When the traffic clears, I'll put my foot down. You know what I mean? I've got a nippy car on the old Merc. Put the foot down. Leave him behind. Yeah. So I'm driving along a bit further. I'm waiting for the traffic to clear. Get this. Ah! And then I looked. And I'd left my indicator on. I'd left my right indicator on. So what this really kind person behind me was doing, they were letting me know that I'd left my indicator on. Ah, that's what they were trying to tell me. But here's the thing. Here's the lesson. I wouldn't do a video just on this. This is priceless, guys. You've got to share this one because there's so many people that are angry. You know, we get angry and they get angry with us or whatever. And um, the person was trying to help me. But what was going on, the negative voice in my head was saying, Psst, look in the mirror, look at that person behind. And you look, you think, yeah, they've got their indicator on. You think, yeah. He says, negative voice is saying, they're trying to overtake you. How bad is that? You show them, Richard, you show them. So, you know, I'm going along there and I'm thinking, yeah, I'm, go I'm going to show them. I'm going to show them. So, Basically, it's a negative voice in my head. It was someone trying to help me. Now, here's the point. I get that all the time on Facebook. I put a message on last night. I've been trying to help people with antidepressants and things. Just I've never taken them, but asking people, have you ever come off and what's it like? And people are getting like, I can't come off my antidepressants. And people are saying to me, they get so angry with me. They say, I can't choose. Don't tell me I can choose. I can't choose. I'm trying to help them. And I thought this was such a good message today, um, really, that this person, what they were trying to do, I'm trying to keep my camera there out there. Yeah, I might be a bit better there, out the, out the sunlight. This person was trying to help me. So the lesson here is, the moral of the story is, watch out for that negative voice in the head. It's the negative voice, like with me, when I'm trying to help people, I've never put a message on Facebook where I'm not trying to help someone. I'm always trying to help people, always trying to encourage people. But that negative voice in the head will all the time, see, what a row is, it's when our negative voice reacts to someone else's negative voice. So here's a little example, because I just thought of this in the dentist while I was waiting. So I thought, I'm going to do this video. If you were an actor... So you're an actor and you're a very, very calm person. But in the script and you're an actor in this role, you've been very calm all day in this role you're acting. But it says you've got to get really, really angry. What would you do? So the script says you've got to get really angry. It'd be something like this. Fucking hell, fucking bad way out and all the rest of it. You know, all the Not because you are angry. Because the script says you've got to get angry. Get this. This is brilliant. 
That's the same as the script in our head. All day long, right, is saying, you want to get, don't let them treat you like that. Now, I'm going to finish off on one brilliant, brilliant, really funny story. Years ago, when I was married, my, my ex-wife, I'm going to do a talk, and I said to her, will you put the books in the car? And she says, yeah, I'll put the books in the car. And uh, anyway, we're halfway towards this talk, to, to this talk that I'm doing. And I said, did you put the books in the car? She was driving, and she went, oh, no, didn't. I said, well, you better turn around. So we turn around and we drive him back. Now, I'm going to be late for a talk, but I've got to get my books. That was my only form of income then. And basically what, um, what happened was, uh, was uh, you know, driving along. And then the negative voice says to me, psst, psst, in my head, goes, psst. She forgot the books, didn't she? I think, well, yeah, she forgot the books. She says, you're going to be late, aren't you? And I thought, yeah, I'm going to be late now. She says, you're going to say something. So I thought... Well, yeah, 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 I, I should say something. So I'm driving along, and um, I, in my talks then, I used to call what I call the script now, the negative voice. I used to call it the, the little voice. And I said, Gillian, she said, yeah. I said, you know what I talk about the, the, the little voice in the head? She went, yeah. I said, well, my negative voice would like to have a word with you now about forgetting the books. Do you mind? And she chuckled, sort of went, no, no, I don't mind. I said, you sure? It's not me. It's the negative voice. She went, no, no, I don't mind. I said, you fucking idiot. I don't fucking believe it. I tell you to put the books in the fucking car. Now I'm going to be fucking late. I'm supposed to be the calm one and I'm fucking stressed out my box. She went, is it finished? I went, yeah. And we carried on driving. And that was the first real example I got that the negative voice is not who we are. So if people on Facebook or with you, if people are getting angry with you, it's not them getting angry with you. It's their script. It's the negative voice in their head that's doing it. So just remember, and if you've just come on, guys, watch all this video because it's fucking brilliant about me being offended about someone behind me that's trying to help me by putting their right-hand indicator. I think they're trying to get by me, and I get all stressed and angry about it. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's, it's brilliant. So watch out for that voice. It'll be the voice that says, don't let them do that. Don't let them speak to you like that. You get upset. And it bloody got me today. And, and don't get the don't let the bastard get you. Um, I've loved making this video. Um, there you go, guys. Watch out for the script. It is not who you are. You're a wonderful superhero. Perhaps you've got a shit script. I have. And remember, guys, can't get rid of the script. Can't change the script. In a single moment, you can ignore all of it. You can ignore all of it. Make it an opinion you no longer value. Um, I'll be back, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. The bastard got me today. See you later. Oh, just one thing. I had to come knock on your screen today. And the other thing is, I love you. I don't love your script. And your script certainly won't like my script. If I'm trying to help you on Facebook, your script's not going to like that. You will. Your script won't. Right? Because I'm telling you about the script. So scripts don't like me. Um, there you go. Hope you like me. Love you guys. And uh, I'll be back. Okay, guys. Bye. Love you. Bye. <laughs>